okay? We are tired and we are scared. If I infect my husband or my four-year-old daughter, who I haven't hugged or kissed in weeks now, it'll be my fault. It is a ruthless irony. The health workers who can't get close to their own families. Even if I don't have symptoms, I could have already had it or I might have it now. They have had to become family for their patients. Hospitals aren't allowing visitors. These patients have to die alone. And I'm sorry to be so blunt, but it is the truth. Families are having to say goodbye via FaceTime. Justine Bender is a nurse in Maryland. We have taken on another role. Family member and friend. We do our best every day to provide for each of our patients based on their needs. But right now, it honestly feels impossible. I know you're at home, but we are the doctors, the nurses, the housekeeping, the clerks. We are the closest to your family right now, and we're going to take care of them. Last week, an elderly man walked into North Shore University Hospital. We were pretty sure he had COVID. He was having trouble breathing. I said to him, what can I do? Who can I call? He said, can you call my wife? And, and he was too short of breath to talk to her. And I said, what can we tell your wife? You know, and he said, I just want you to tell my wife that I love her and I hope she's okay. And my intern and I walked out of the room and cried outside of the room. Less than a week later, he died. And then there was the man with dementia and respiratory problems who came to Dr. Matthew Foley's hospital. The only thing that would calm this person down was, was uh, stroking his head. Um, immediately um, calmed down. So it was, the, it was the little easy things that made this patient feel better. I think each one of us breaks down at a different time of day. And just having to be there and not knowing what to say to make it better because right now it's not going to get better it's going to get worse christina norstein is an intensive care nurse i worry about taking this home to my family what have you done to protect your family i left my home i um, staying at a hotel her daughter is battling lupus norstein could be living in a hotel room for weeks what would you say is the single hardest thing for you over the course of one of these shifts just the, seeing the sadness. Where do you see the sadness? I see it on everybody's face. Everybody who's walking around, they're stunned. I love my job. I love being a nurse. And now more than ever, we need to come together because we're quite literally fighting for people's lives and for our own lives. They appreciate the public support. They need more help. And they hope someone is listening. Stephanie.